guys, how you doing? This is a very quick, I got a few questions actually, a couple emails um, asking how to make the cover um, that I had, I think I mentioned it in my last video, but how to make a harder cover. So I'm going to do it kind of, kind of, uh, so you get the idea, but it's not going to be perfect because uh, there is no such thing as perfection. So don't strive for it. Just get it done, do it the best that you can and enjoy it. That's the main thing. So very quickly. Okay, this is the journal that I showed you how to make. I just did a few pages. So in this, I have, I'm gonna show you on a piece of paper that I didn't attach. Let's pretend like this will be our cover, which would go on top, right? Okay, so let's put this away. All right, so here is our, now, uh, I would do it on the, if you have a piece of paper like this, which is scrapbook paper and, um, we're going to do a cover and whatnot. Use the pattern piece down because once we put this back on, which I'll show you in a second, and you close it, this will become the inside of your uh, book, your art journal, and that you can use this to uh, write on, draw on, whatever you want, and that would be the same for the back. So this is what we would do first. This is a back of a, uh, how you say, um, paper pad, dur, paper pad. You can see that I put this off this, I think I got this at the dollar store. I am a, like a tablet freak. I love notebooks and tablets, whatever. Now, if you don't have anything, I'm a cardboard hoarder. I think I might hoard everything. I'm not real sure. Um, my husband likes to take stuff and throw it away when he gets his hands. You know, I love cardboard boxes and uh, cereal boxes. If you have cereal box, save the box, cut it till you get your flat pieces. Uh, cracker boxes, cereal, frozen, whatever, whatever you can find cardboard. Even if you uh, do a book like this with just the uh, paper or printer paper, even whatever you use, you can use printer paper easily or whatever kind of paper, um, newspaper for that matter, because uh, you're going to be doing over it, gessoing over it. Although if you do newspaper, know that when you put the uh, to gesso it, it's going to kind of make it a little bit gray. But if you put a couple coats, you'll be fine. Um, so uh, you could take your cereal box, whatever, and whatever size your paper is here. Um, so what you'll do is you'll take your cardboard and you'll, I'm lucky because this fits and that's obviously why I'm showing it. So I will glue, now you can use your Mod Podge, you can use white school glue, which is the Elmer's white glue, love it. Glue stick, um, you would probably, I, I don't have my glue stick here with me, but you probably could use a glue stick, um, if you wanted to, there's nothing wrong with that, um, but Make sure you test it. If you use a glue stick and it dries and you're like, oh, it's holding great. And then you go to turn it and it comes off, you know, I would use white school glue or something. Whatever you have, gel medium, uh, Mod Podge, Glage Podge, whatever you have. White school glue from the dollar store. I don't know. So this would be our first page. So we would glue that on. Okay. And then remember that this is going to be our cover and then this is our book and then that would be our next page so forth and so on and then here is our back page which I got another piece of cardboard and you will just glue it on the back okay so all you're doing is that one piece of paper that I showed you that will just take a scrap piece of paper use a piece of printer paper that you've already printed on that you're gonna throw away I love to be recycled recyclable friendly how you say <laughs> I love to recycle anything I can um, so use you know use a piece of paper I have I've printed out a lot of things off the internet and for some reason I get two pages that come out first when I print with like three words on them or half a word I don't even know why it does that um, but uh, you know you can definitely use that as your cover as well because we're making this the main so before I confuse you anymore okay so then, like I said, here you go. You have your, you have your main cover. You open it up. You can do your little writing, doodling, whatever you have in here. You have your back cover. Now, if you want to get very fancy, you would probably have to cut these down a little bit shorter. And I'll show you why. So when we open this bad boy up, I'm going to move this over a little bit. And you're going to say, I should have grabbed my damn glue. Stick, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I wasn't thinking, that's the problem. I took a piece of, I just cut this cardboard that I had, which, you know, cardboard, cereal box, cracker box, whatever you have. And 
then what you will do is take your glue, and I would do this part first if you're going to put this um, very crookedly cut, <laughs> if you're going to put this binding in the uh, spine, spine, spine binding. So you'll put your glue down, and you see where you have your folded paper. You're going to make this kind of go on both sides, like in the middle. So you will glue this down, okay? Once you glue that down. And I will... Um, I'll do this. I don't know why I didn't do it first because I wanted to show you guys. And then when I'm done, the next video I do, I'll show you what it looks like. Then you will put this over here and glue this on. And then this as well. So you will have, let's see if I can do magic or if I'm just crazy. Okay. Nope. Can't do magic. That's okay though. You know, if I would think things through, I would be, that'd be dangerous. Dangerous, I say. Okay. So remember, we're going to have that much of that sticking out. Again, always do your spine first because that's where you're going to know to put everything else. And I'm just going to give it a little so you can kind of see where it's at. And then my other cardboard will go right there. Just like give it like a little millimeter between it, as you can see right here. So once this is done and then you'll cut this off with your X-Acto knife, scissors, whatever you have, or you don't even have to cut it off. Let's be, let's be honest. We're trying to make a nice, quick art journal for us because what we really want to do is get in this art journal and journal uh you know do arts and that kind of thing um so this really doesn't bother me if you are one of those people that it bothers because i know i have ocd for like the weirdest things and some people might be like i can't have that hanging over i'm all for you i'm like go team cut it off <laughs> do whatever you want like i said ocd for me is completely other things but you might laugh at my ocd anyway so here we go so when we fold this okay this little piece, my God, why didn't I find my glue? It's going to be like this. It's going to be on top of here. So you have a spine. So what that means is, I hope this makes sense, but maybe once I glue it all together and show you, you'll get more of a sense out of it. <clears throat> what it's going to do, it's going to make it sturdier. So especially if you make a bigger, you know, if you put a lot of pages in here in your art journal, you're going to, uh, be opening it a lot, putting a lot of paint in there, putting, you know, that kind of thing. So it just makes it a little bit sturdier. It's very cheap. I mean, you can use all uh, recycled things. I mean, you can look at your neighbor's garbage for the recycling and find an old pizza box or, you know, cereal, whatever. You know what I mean? So, and this is how it would sit. You see what I'm saying? So it looks like a book. Then once you have it all glued on, and like I said, I'll show you this finished. I don't know what I was thinking. Once you have it all glued on and all your pages in between, then you can paint this, write on it, uh, do whatever you want. Stick stickers on it, uh, put more, uh, this isn't, oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Napkins, I have so many napkins and uh, you can do napkins, you know, uh, whether they're white or whatever you know with nothing on them you can get them at the dollar store very cheap as well but you can just glue on some you know napkin to give it some beautiful color whatever you want it's the fun you know it's fun to make it your own and then we can do our art journaling inside and that's where we will be going next to do uh, a couple more different kinds of journals put together um i've gotten the response i've gotten for these for this art journal video I did yesterday, I, it makes me want to pee my pants with excitement, okay? Um, I know that's not a really great vision, but it I, I couldn't believe. I opened up my email today, which wasn't even my YouTube comments, which that those blew my mind, all the comments you guys have been leaving me. It's so beautiful. But uh, I opened up my email, and I'm like, holy moly, the people uh, who were so, were thanking me for doing this. And I'm I, honestly, you know, uh, this, this is probably all over. I'm sure everybody's probably made uh, art journals and everything like that. Um, I've done art journals forever on live shows in my, in my uh, station, my YouTube channel rather. But, um, I know I have, I have a lot of people, like I said the other day, uh, newbies that, uh, you know, new people who are new to art journaling or even art in general. And a lot of, uh, young adults who I'm blown away at, um, who don't have a lot of money. And a lot of people are, like I said, are on SSI or SSD and, you know, money's tight and you should be able to art and do whatever you want, craft, art, whatever you want in a way that is inexpensive and re using recycling in it. And um, we're just going to go through and I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be great for the new year. And I think that uh, it'll help a lot of people 
like I said, and it's just basic, you know, art journaling and, and constructing it where you feel like, you know what, and you don't have to do the cardboard. That's just something extra. You can just do like we did here. Um, but uh, the point is, is doing it and uh, feeling good when you do your art page and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mixed media. I love to do mixed media in my art journal. I do all kinds of things. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope this helped you guys because a lot of people were asking how to make a cover. I think I had mentioned it in my other um, last video. So I wanted to do it and show you guys. And it's so simple. And like I said, if you're using a cereal box, just put that on there and cut it. Cereal boxes are easy cut, cracker boxes, whatever. Um, and cut it to the size that you want. And then if you want to, you don't even have to put this on. But, uh, you know, this goes on like this. And you're good to go. You're so good to go. Um, and I am just so thrilled to be doing these uh, art journals. We're going to have, I'm going to do my next video, I think, with my art for art journals. We're going to do the paper bag ones with the pockets. I know I've gotten probably, uh, oh gosh, a few dozen requests, like people saying how much they want to do the paper bag ones because people love to save things in their journals and if they go to the movies or like I said before. So I'm done blabbing. I hope you all have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Please be safe. Please don't drink and drive. Uh, if you're staying home, uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful, peaceful holiday. Um, and uh, oh, I dust that off. Put that one side away. And as always, I love you all so much. I'm so very blessed and thankful. And be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Man, I wish you all a very, very, very happy new year. I hope we all rock it in the new year and we all have many, many blessings. And I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.